Hello, my name is Avesh Sakbar. I'm from Curtin University, Dubai, and this is my final year project 2, Video Progress 3. And my supervisor for this final year project is Mr. Saleh Ismail. So, in this video, I'll be explaining the complication which I have added to my project and the previous work until now which I have done, and I will explain the code part and the buttons how I used and the api that i used for the dropbox upload button so let's begin this video this is the final look for my user interface uh, and i have included the drop upload to dropbox option over here to which we will directly upload the files which we have encrypted and then save it to the dropbox and then download it and decrypt it with this application to get our final result and the uh, data which we have encrypted before in perfect format so how did i get this button let me explain for this you have to download nugget packages which includes all the code to do this specific task we click over here then manage nugget packages and we can see uh, for example if you want to do it for the google drive you just type google drive and uh, you can then download it but i have done it for the dropbox so you'll we'll write dropbox and here is the api for the dropbox just download it i have already downloaded it in my visual studio and then what i have to do i have to go online to set up it in my browser uh, I, ha I have taken help from um, the github to download the or create the app for this one i click on this link it will take me to a new tab and over here they will ask you to create an app so here is how you can create a dropbox api just click on a dropbox api and a folder and name the folder name the app uh, for which i have already created so i will use that one and click over here so it's only for me and uh, the location host and everything and this one is to generate the access token which I'll be using in my button to access this app and when I click generate token a token will be generated then I had copied as you can see my email for my for, for my Dropbox is given over here my address so when I copy this one and go to the code and I have to paste it over here for my reference token exactly over the here so whenever I run this program and click on the upload button it will take me directly to the Dropbox upload and I have made a pub profile with the name public which I'll be using uh, for now it's empty and which I have mentioned over here in my code uh, for the reference in which the the files will be uploaded this one is my name of the folder in the dropbox where the files will be uploaded So let me show you how it works. Our UI has popped up. We'll click on open file. And on my desktop, I have a test folder which I used in my previous video as well as an example. And we'll give a key with, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six. Click on encrypt. Encryption has done successfully. Now, what it has done it has split the files into three parts and it has encrypted with three different algorithms to find out we'll go 
to our folder and as in my windows it's alphabetic order so it will be up and down but i'll go for the aes des and rc4 so here are the three parts of the program and let's see inside this is the code this is the encryption which a normal person cannot understand yeah so what i have to do is i have to upload this to the dropbox so what i'm going to do is i'll click on upload to dropbox whatever files where they are saved and let me show you see the pu public folder is empty there's nothing inside so we'll just select one by one and click on upload upload is done we'll click on the second file open upload is done and on the third file the same thing on and upload is done so now all these three files we can see in our dropbox in my public folder which i created aes des and rc4 and these are all encrypted to show you what i will do is i will delete this thing to make sure when i don't download it again it i can decrypt it with my application so i click aes des and rc4 and delete them when i delete them i don't have the files anymore what i have to do i have to click all these three files and download it download download so i go to the folder where same folder now i have them all all of them to my application and for the decryption for the decryption i keep the same key it will loco locate the the folders the same folders uh, which were encrypted with the same key and then decrypt it with the output one two three four five six click on decrypt it says decryption is done successfully means our files were downloaded perfectly and work now i go back to the folder we have to see an output and when when i click on the output it's same as the example file which we encrypted now i will go to my code i'll close this one close as well and close this application and and for the open file i have given i have used the flags and all uh, above the directories as well so for the open file i have added a button when we click it it will only accept text file because i have uh, added the code text file and beside that the text box this one its name is text box en file name it will show the path of the file which we are going to open and it will read the data from it under my encrypt button it will show me the encryption part first of all it will divide it uh, its length in bits and then divide by three and then it will encrypt with aes des and rc4 and i have taken help for these algorithms online and done it for encrypt algorithm are coded over here here is for the AES, DES, and RC4. Now I go under my decrypt button and it decrypts the text file, same with the names. 
See, it read all text from the AES which were created at that time, DES and RC4, and uh, its decrypt algorithms are here as well. Decrypt AES, the code is over here. The algorithm is just basically opposite to the encryption. And for the DES, the decryption is done over here in this part. And for the RC4, it's done in this part. I hope you all like my project. I have put my best efforts to get it done and I'm looking to forward improve this by adding download option as well. So thank you. Thank you so much.